few days ago, I was watching a video about what's inside a Bugatti car. After a few investigations, I saw that it was using a W engine as the motor of the car. I was interested, so eventually, I tried to make one. A W engine uses these connecting rod shaped similar like a V. This V rod is placed on both sides as shown and then slightly angled upwards which makes it shaped like a W. However, it's way too complicated to make it angled so eventually I'm making a flat W instead which first it cancels each other left and right pushing force from the hover. In this case, if I decided to angle the pistons upwards, both hover pushing force will eventually results the engine to push downwards which is not good for any vehicle however this is a completely different case in my v8 engine that i made since the pistons itself is double-sided in here now you may ask why not just make the flat w engine double-sided well it's simply because it won't balance as good as flat not only that it will also just add more weight on the plates and pistons and it is absolutely unnecessary to do so since it won't be much efficient as well compared to flat. Usually, after I'm done making the engine or just any engine, I try to put a propeller to it just to see how strong it will push and sometimes even making it into a plane like my radial engine I tried to make in the past but of course all of them fail. Except this flat W engine feels like it could have the opportunity to become one. What I noticed here is when comparing it to the other engine, only this engine that could still run at almost the same speed using the propeller and when not using it. When I try to use a larger diameter of the blade, the result is absolutely insane. The engine does not struggle to push or at least if it does, it still spins at an incredible speed. After that, I try to add wings on the engine as well as the controller which is the elevator rudder and ailerons. At first, the plane is really struggling to take off because as soon as I angle the plane's pitch upwards, the speed immediately drops. After countless experiments with the plane, like for example making the plane into a nice which makes it lighter, changing the crankshaft and camshaft model, it just won't work. I even spent a whole day just tracing out on the plane and it was still barely lift until this happened. Flat joint. Back when he joined the server, he's interested in the project that I made so I gave him a ride. When riding, he also noticed that the plane struggled to keep altitude as well so eventually he gave me this solution. Add more propeller. At first I don't really believe if that's the correct solution since the engine could stall with that amount of propeller. However, I was wrong. When I tried to add more propeller, the plane flown at nearly 30% more speed and it climbs the altitude really well. At first I thought the engine was stalling because of too much force needed to spin the propeller. After investigating it, turns out it's just because of something as simple as block collisions. Well, I guess that's all I can say about how we managed to make a flying airplane with only peasant's engine and, of course, no helium slide. Literally, this thing flies without a single helium. Check out on how it works here and I'll see you in the next one.